Getting some vaccine news to start the week as Lancet weighs in on AstraZeneca's COVID-19 candidate. Let's get to Meg Terrell. Meg? Hi, Carl. Well, highly anticipated results coming from Oxford University, which has partnered with AstraZeneca, still digging through the details as they literally just came in, uh, but essentially showing that the vaccine induced an immune response uh, in these participants. This is the phase one, two trial run in more than a thousand participants in the UK, uh, one of the first human studies um, of this vaccine. And they looked at both giving one dose and two doses of the vaccine, and they did find that after giving two doses, the immune response was stronger. Uh, based on how they measured the gener uh, generation of these antibodies from the vaccine, they found um, that all of them, all of the participants generated antibodies uh, with the first dose with one way of measuring, but not with another way of measuring. But with the second dose, all of them did so. Um, you're seeing uh, AstraZeneca stock down more than 2% now on these news. These were highly anticipated uh, data with very positive sort of preambles last week coming out suggesting they were very strong. So as people are parsing through the data here, uh, we will get a read on whether this matches up with extremely high expectations. But importantly, the researchers also reporting this generally appeared to be safe. They did note that about 70 percent of participants reported fatigue and headache, uh, and taking paracetamol uh, tended to help with any of the effects of getting uh, the shot, guys. But still reading through these data, they do say this generated an immune response. And of course, they're taking this into a much larger set of phase three efficacy trials to really get a read on whether this will be protective.